if you graduate out of school, that means they have to teach you to be positive. What? We are positive. We are positive. We got the right. truth. You may right? have a Bible in your hand and be educated. What does Bible mean? Positive. What does Bible mean? You speak ignorance. What does Bible mean? What does Bible mean? Bible is an educated ancient Bible. Matter of fact, God 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 Bible means word. educated ancient Bible. How can some? How can the word define the <laughs> to word? To teach you that God is real. Hey, and all you Edomites are going into slavery. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Change and <laughs> blood. Man. I didn't hear that. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, because I hate all these goddamn Edomites, you, you so-called white people, That's you, right. devils, you, dumbass you niggas faggots, who coming up thinking they know what they talking about. So, right. so yes, you here? Right. I am full of hatred right. because I'm here? serving my captivity. That's I'm right. serving my punishment. Right. Be angry and sin. That's why I'm here. Ecclesiastes right. 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 Why are you here? Okay. Why are you here? He's here to be destroyed, man. Yeah. Ecclesiastes. That's why he's here. Go ahead, brother. Ecclesiastes 77. You've been huge. Better mouth for the Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Yep. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, man. And oppressed. if you say you ain't being oppressed, his mind is fucking this oppressed. Nigga, man. This, nigga, this, nigga, this, nigga, this, this guy. This nigga got to ask some questions. He educated, but he don't know what educate me. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? But you educated, you got hatred in your heart. What the fuck that oh, means? What does what? that mean? Somebody get Malachi one and uh, uh, one and three. You educated so much, bro. You hate it. We just gonna slaughter him, bro. Hey, this is love. He want to be condemned, bro. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. told him that, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. You you been bent on one and three. Right. This is Malachi <laughs> one and three. And I hated Esau. And it's the Lord speaking. Yet I hated Esau, which is you so-called white people. The Lord is going to destroy you, That's goddamn right. crackers. Right. No, go ahead. And laid his mouth to yeah, say yeah. there is great. And that's all we need. Look, look, the look, Lord can't teach hate. The Lord don't teach hate. Don't teach the hate. Comments, man. What, the, what, so what that just said? What did that just say? The Lord say? teaches you not Somebody to Somebody give me Luke 19 and 27. Somebody <laughs> give me Luke 19 and 27. And, and, and somebody got a red Bible, a red letter. So this dumbass nigga can see us in red letters that the Lord spoke in himself, man. And let's, and let's see 19, if this ain't hatred. 19 and what? 27. <laughs> I got a quick one. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. The Lord law. just came. I'm about what? You about law. I am about the law. You're right. That's the smartest thing you said all damn day. So dumbass nigga would be one of your laws. <laughs> What? What the fuck? Because if you about Hey, why you got hatred in your heart? Why you got, why you got hatred in your heart? <laughs> You're a clown. You're a clown. Luke 19 and 27. Oh, but those, my enemies, and it's the Lord speaking, which would not, who they ignorantly, used in the correct term, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. And I'm not giving you his name. Fuck you. Which Go would ahead. not that I should reign over them. So those my enemies that would not that I should reign over them, what he say do? Bring them hither and slay them before me. And that's what's gonna happen to your ass. You ain't even gonna make it then. Cause the Lord gonna kill your ass soon. The Lord don't teach hate you. What? We going over that, man. We going over that. Psalms 19. Hey, if the Lord taught hate you, there be no Hey, man, I got a script too. Malachi 1 and 4. I'm going to start at 3. And I hated Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains in heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord the border no, wicked is all and the man. That's all good. That's all good. You crowd my space, man. You don't fucking talk to him like that, man. So fuck you, man. Shut your ass up, man. <laughs> so you can't man, shut up, man. 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 You have hatred in your heart. Hey, man. And God told you that vengeance is not yours. It's God's. I'm waiting on God the Lord. God will tell the Lord the same thing. The Lord said, wait upon me. The Lord got hatred in his heart. The Lord said, wait upon me. It says right here, the border witness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation for. Forever, man. What does indignation mean? What is anything? I didn't say ignorance. I said indignation. What is indignation? 
facing me. He just dropped the mic and kicked him off. I am releasing Wait, we're going to release it. Hey, 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 and it's the mercy of y'all by showing y'all in God. Because it's all spiritual right now. It's all spiritual. Hey, uh, I got a few steps. Go ahead, bro. And this is Matthew 12 and 34. Oh, generation of vipers. How can ye, being evil, speak good things? How can you, being a dumbass, simple-ass, stupid-ass nigga, being evil, speak good things? Whatever, bro. Go ahead. For out of the abundant nation, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. For out of the abundance of a heart, the man speaketh. The abundance of his heart was dumb shit. Yeah. And that's what's coming out of his mouth, man. That's right. All right, man. Hey, hey, hey. A little hockey, man. What's going on with y'all, man? Shalom. Shalom. How y'all doing? So y'all know who y'all Lord and Savior is? I don't know. You don't know? That's cute. You know your nationality? You don't? All right. Somebody get Deuteronomy 28. We're going to start there. This is who we are. Oh, that's more than you got time. Okay, it's all good. Yo, I got you got 30 one. minutes? I got 20, 20. Okay, cool, cool. We, hey, we we'll give you as much knowledge as we can in 20 minutes. Y'all know the story of Moses, right? Y'all know who Moses is? Yes. What did Moses do? What did Moses do? What did Moses do? We, I ain't going to say he. We don't know. So y'all don't know who Moses is? All right, well, basically, we are the children of Israel. We are God's people. Exactly. Not everybody, just us. You see? Somebody get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yeah. And then we'll jump to that uh, Deuteronomy. Go ahead, brother. This is, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Mm -hmm. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord said, we are a holy people. Not these guys, not that guy. We are. Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord chosen us to be a special people unto himself. Because these names right here, these are the names the so-called white man gave us. Which the so-called white man, according to the scriptures, his biblical name is Esau, Edom. They are called Edomites. They put these names on us. We didn't name ourselves this. They gave us these names. This is who we are according to the scriptures. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the, so the Lord just said we are above all people upon the face of the earth. So we're above all these people. We're better than them, you know? Oh, oh my God. God. Go ahead. Oh my God. <laughs> This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligent, diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power. So look, so the Lord told us that if we would listen, to everything he told us to do. Go ahead. And it says, Be careful though with this real. Uh, it says, uh, Dil Diligently unto the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. See, now everything the Lord commanded us to do, now in y'all free time, y'all can go home and read your mama Bible, your daddy Bible. I got a Bible. Oh, shit. See, that's perfect. King James Version. Oh, you go and you read the Bible. And, uh, Leviticus, Exodus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, there are laws that the Lord told us how to live. So you read that, and you try to live by them laws. Go ahead. And it says, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if we to listen and did what he told us to do, we will be above all nations on this planet right now. Now jump to 15. 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of thy power, mm -hmm. Masaki, the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So it just said if we don't do what he told us to do, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses will happen to us. 
So now let's read a couple of these curses. Go ahead. Um, I'll go to 48. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 40. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Right, so we serving our enemies in hunger and thirst and in want of all things. If you need, if you ain't got a job and you, you need something, where do you go? You gotta go to the government. You gotta go to this goddamn white man, you know? So you in want of all things. Cause you can't, you ain't, you have nothing of yourself. Do you got farms, do you got a farm that you can plant your own food and live off your own self? No, I already know, go ahead. And it says, and in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And all I did was Google yoke of iron, and look what pops up. Look what pops up, yoke of iron. And it's coming out the Bible. All I did was Google yoke of iron, that's all I typed in, yoke of iron. And who pops up? Our people. So read that verse again. And Read it, that verse again. And uh, the whole thing or just that part? Just that uh, yoke and of iron. And it says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who did that? Our enemies, the so-called white men, which which he is, the, uh, the Bible, he's called Edomites, man. Go ahead. Until he ha until he hath destroyed thee. Go ahead. Uh, verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagles flee. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right. And now, really, that was talking about back in 70 AD when the Romans came and besieged us, but it happened over again when uh, uh, these goddamn Europeans came and got us from the west coast of Africa, man. Can I ask you one brother? thing? Hey, brother, listen. You brothers, um, y'all know what murder is, right? Yeah. Okay, if somebody murders somebody, do you think it's right for that person to go to jail or be murdered? Not, so not to be murdered. Okay, if somebody I kill, if I if I kill your if I kill your brother, do you think I should be killed, or I should go to jail? I say go to jail. Huh? Why? That's right. Crime. Okay, but if I kill your brother, don't you, don't you think it would be right, uh, right, uh, right if I get killed because I killed your brother and I get put to death? Okay, who did that to us? Y'all know what, what nation of people put us on them boats and brought us over there? Oh, the masses of the what, what, what nation? What nation of people? You can, you can say they color. What, what color people put their people on them boats and brought them over there? Like the white people. Right, okay. Now, when he brought us over on them boats, he was killing us, right? Right. Don't okay, so you, do you think he had to, should he be killed for doing that to us? Yeah. Okay, and, and who he's telling you about, the Lord, he's going to kill him for, he's going to kill him for, for doing that to his people. Okay, because these people right here are special people to the Lord. Okay, so that's a righteous thing, man. So the Lord do kill people, man. He put them, he, he puts them to death. That's a righteous thing. All right? All right, go ahead, Deut Deuteronomy 28 and 5, 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And what shall be upon us? These curses. That's right. They said it shall be upon us for a sign. When you see a sign, that's warning you, that that's, that's this or that's that. A sign is to show you that this is that. So these curses are upon us for a sign, meaning it's letting us know who we are. You see? Because what other people uh, uh, suffered these curses besides the, ne the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? Only our people fit these curses, so we would have to be these people. Go ahead. And for, and for a wonder. What's up, bro? Right. Well, we're not gonna. Right. Listen, listen. But I didn't say. I didn't say that. I said the Lord is gonna recompense to the white man what he did to us. I didn't say we. Would, he, but he's gonna do it at our hands. That's the scripture. The scripture says he's gonna do it. We're gonna be his battle axe. Okay, so, so he's is good. So pretty much, so hush, bro. So pretty hush, much hush. to answer your question, we going we gonna wait upon the Lord. That's right. To uh, to render his vengeance. That's right. See? That's right. Because if it was if it was shit, if, if we was out here physical, every white person walked past, we'd be yeah. whooping their ass, killing yeah. them, and, and doing that. And then what would happen? 
would, they would have a fucking paddy wagon out. We would all and go to jail. Eventually, the military. The military, right. They would right. run us down. That's right. Brother. So we're not taking this man down. That's right. The Lord, when he returns, he's going to take this man down. That's right. And he's going to give us the power to do that, to help him do it. You Lord willing, that we the men. Lord because, willing, we the men. Because you have to keep the statute. You gotta, you gotta bro, shut up, up, man. Bro. You gotta keep the statute, laws, and commandment. You know what I'm saying? To be, for the Lord you know to do that. Him, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is not coming. The Lord is not putting this white man to death just for everybody. He's only doing it for the elect's sake, and that's these people on the sign. Okay? Because two thirds of our people, like this nigga here, this nigga. he's gonna die. He gonna die. And Lord willing, if He reserves him over for that time, we're gonna be one of the ones to put him to death because he's not right in the head. He's He's fucked up. That white man got him fucked up, man. And the Lord don't want him, ultimately. That's right, he don't want him. He's only here, he's man. here for a spectacle, man. To condemn himself, man. That's it, but for the camera, man. Cause that's, cause that's what the Lord does, see? The Lord lets you hang your goddamn That's self. right, brother. And that's what he's doing. That's man. right. He's hey. killing himself, but he don't even know it. Because, because he think he coming against us. That's right. He not coming against us. He coming against the power of this Bible. He coming against the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Rashad. And that's and that's a sin. And, and the wages of sin is death. And he's you got he's full of demons, man. That's why he's doing that, man. But anyway, back to you little brothers, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go man. Because we teach him, man. Well, Let him disturb. Because thou thou service not the Lord thy power with joyfulness. So, I keep my so that's why we in this situation we in, man. Because we didn't serve the Lord with joyfulness. We didn't listen and, and take heed to the commandments He gave us. So that's why these people is over us, you know? We supposed to be living good right now, little brothers. Yeah. You know, right. we supposed to be the rulers of this earth. We supposed to have these fuck guys right here bowing down to y'all. That's right, that's right. You know, these people, man, these heathens, man, they supposed to be bowing down to us. They look at us and they look down at us and they call us niggas, man. But we are above them. And that's when the Lord come back, he gonna restore us back to that, man. What color do y'all think the Lord was when he came on earth? When he came on earth, who they actually called Jesus, what color do y'all think he was? Black. That's right. Get, get that in uh, uh, so Hebrew. Hey, bro, shut up. Listen, listen. Let me, let me uh, bring listen. this out real quick. Okay, come on, brother, go ahead. Right come on, come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, 25, verse 14. And it says, I will lay my vengeance up, up, upon Edom Ooh. by the hand of my people. See? Israel. Oh, well, he left? Oh, the dude left? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he he but God said vengeance ain't his. It's God. God said should... vengeance ain't his. It's God. Right. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, no, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> and they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. So these people on the sign, Lord willing, we those men, we gonna lay our hands physically and have vengeance on our oppressors. That's right. That's brother. according to scripture. That's according to scripture. Not according right. to his fairy tale doctrine. That's what right. What we've been told about God. That's the right. Bible teaches something very different. That's right, brother. That's, that's, that's right, brother. So you brother, you brother, uh, uh, you know, yeah, that's good. You know the Lord is black, man. You got that. In uh, Revel, Revel, uh, Revelations one and I'm gonna get straight to the point. Thirteen. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, no, one. Start at one. Start at one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Revelations one and one. And, the, and say it verbatim. Don't, all right, God. Revelation. Say the name. Fuck God. I'm gonna say it for the kids. Revelations one and one. The revelation of Yahweh shot, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this right. is the revelation of the Lord to us, man. It says to his servants God. to show what's going to come to pass. You got the Yahweh Flip that over. I think it's over there. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, oh, flip okay. it. And it says, and he sent, Slaki, like come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Verse 13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, mm -hmm. and a girt about the path with a golden girdle. It says, his head. And his hairs were white like wool. So the hair on his head and the hair and the hair on his beard was white like wool. And, then the, and that doesn't mean the color of wool. When you look up the word like, it means lichen yeah. unto yep. or as. Yep. Right. You know, his hair was as wool. Yep. Go ahead. And it says, as white as snow. See, and that, that breaks it down itself right there. Because why would it mention the color of his hair twice? That's right. It said as white as wool, as white as snow. That's right. So when it says as white as wool, it means the texture, and as white as snow, meaning the color. 
And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his feet was as fine brass as if it burned in the furnace. So brass is already brown. So once you put it in the furnace and it burns, it gets hotter, it's gonna turn.